Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Hope you guys are doing well, having a great time. Today I'm here with another exciting opportunity. It's a fully funded opportunity. It's another opportunity from China. Chinese Scholarship Council, I believe, or uh, Chinese Government Scholarship. <coughs> but it's in uh, Wuhan, Wuhan University. And uh, it, this scholarship is for uh, bas uh, sorry masters and PhD program. It's a fully funded scholarship. There is no application fees. Um, you can also try without alets, and you can also try with alets. So, before starting this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly go check out subscribe to my channel. You will find different videos about different countries regarding different opportunities, and uh, press the bell icon as well. You can follow us on Facebook as well, and if you guys want to join us on a WhatsApp group, the link of that group will be given in the description below. So, talking about this uh, scholarship, it's in Wuhan where i believe recently they have discovered a virus i believe coronavirus so this is a university in wuhan so if you get selected i, I will suggest you you should use a mask if you go to that city so we are just doing our job with another great opportunity by the chinese uh, government Host country China, host university Wuhan University, and the degree level is master's degree, PhD, and the CSC scholarship duration is three years, duration for masters is four years, and scholarship value tuition application fee per year, free accommodation, living allowance with these figures, medical insurance, foreign citizen in good health applicants who apply for masters should be under the age of 35 and holding a bachelor's degree same goes for master phd with 40 years of age with a master's degree applicants chinese medium programs if you want to apply to a chinese taught program you should have a hsk level test it's a test for chinese proficiency and just like in english we do alas or toffle for english proficiency so if you want to apply for an english taught program you should have at least 5.5 in alas at least 80 in toffle and if you can take english proficiency certificate from your last attending university you can apply without toffle Right, required documents applicants for uh, the for the Chinese government scholarship form application uh, sorry application form from this side application form from this side not as well as diploma this and that okay I will explain each and everything in my own words so that you will make things easier for you recently yesterday I uploaded a video it was also about this uh, CSC scholarship. It was also by CSC scholarship, but it was another university. I don't remember the name of that university, but almost exactly is the same process. But this this Wuhan University, this scholarship, it is much easier. It is uh, not that complicated. You just need to apply on uh, like uh, in two steps. First, you have to apply on the Chinese scholarship council portal and then you have to apply on the Wuhan University's portal you just have to apply on these two there is no application fees you don't need to send your documents by post this is the interesting fun thing and but uh, in yesterday's scholarship you were supposed to send your documents by post if you get selected or not but they are saying this Wuhan University says if you get selected you should like uh, <coughs> Uh, we will shortlist you and if you get to sh if you shortlist you you are then supposed to send the documents to us so first of all I want you to click on um, this link this right here yeah this one you just need to click on this and when you click on this link you, you will come like here but then you have to click on this link this will open up let's go there back okay there we go log in let's close this um, um if you haven't seen this portal or something like that you can create an account right here on clicking this red button and uh, but the thing is this is like kind of uh, it's an overall uh, centralized database or centralized portal for the Chinese sponsored uh, Chinese government uh, scholarship as you can see Chinese government scholarship information system you can write your information and credential right here and just submit 
and uh, that's pretty much easy and uh, we should log in yj f j okay sign in okay so when you sign in these terms and conditions and some kind of suggestions will pop up in front of you i would recommend you you can uh, you can uh, read them for your information for better understanding of the system but if you don't you can just follow my steps just click on application online when you click on this you have to edit your personal details starting from your personal information which is given name date of birth country of birth gender martial status religion city of birth this and that telephone address and almost done so that's easy you can do that by yourself education and employment history um, institute name field of study qualification this and that you can also do that after doing that the last context is other context which will include your emergency contact or something like that i don't know name of the contact or organization in china if you have anyone in china if you don't then it's perfectly fine spouse name spouse age this and that okay verify and say after doing that this uh, you can see the red icon right here i haven't complete this information uh, basically i'm not that interested in studying in china so that's why i don't apply in chinese universities so you just need to um, complete this uh, personal details after completing this personal details you can see that this these three options are kind of um, dull right now but after completing this this will turn out to blue just like the same color of edit personal details after the, uh, they turn blue you just need to click on type B application you're not supposed to type, click type A you're not supposed to click type C you have to click type B why type b that's a that's a whole different story but uh, i'll make video short and you just need to click on type b you just need to uh, enter your uh, agency number the agency number is right here 10486 after entering the agency number you have to print the application form and just put it and you cannot you don't need to even print it they, you you will like kind of print it when they want it from you but this is the option of printing right here and you are almost done with the first part and after doing with your first part you just need to kind of mm, yeah you just need to click on this apply now when you click on apply now mm, let me click it for you guys yes when you click on apply now this yeah this is the same page and this page will open up they are like kind of giving you details further more details about the application process this and that and yeah i told you this uh, yesterday as well how can you get foreign physical examination form you can just write foreign examination form in the google and when you write that let me just help it you keep those okay you just need to click on this first or second link after clicking that your application form this is it you just you, you it will be like kind of downloaded yeah you can download the pdf file as well how you are supposed to fill your this physical application form you can write the details of yourself right here but uh, if you think like these kind of questions you cannot answer yourself so these are those were the other questions which will be answers by your physician or doctor so signature of the physician official stamp date suggestions and that's it after completing that you are almost done with it and Okay, as you can see, there is no application for the application Chinese Government Scholarship. Chinese University program in Wuhan University applicants should apply directly to Wuhan University and cannot submit applica application documents to any intermediary agencies. Okay, applicants do not need to send us hard copies of the application documents. Some of the applicants will receive an interview notice informed by our school around early April. Only those applicants who have passed the primary evaluation of the university and are informed by our email notice around April 15th should submit us all the applicants application documents into sets of hard copies by DHL or AMS. Simple. So almost we are done with the first part. 
I was just making uh, I was just uh, giving you guys confirmation about uh, what I read T okay if you haven't registered you can click on register you can enter your username password confirm password email verify that's it you will receive a confirmation email after clicking the confirmation email your application will be confirmed your uh, account will be confirmed and you will be applied to like kind of login okay after doing that you just need to click on online application i have completed i have started an application but i will delete this application so that i can start a new one in front of you guys okay so application chinese government scholarship okay this is what you are supposed to click next you are applying for masters or phd whatever masters in english dot doctorate doctoral english dot whatever you whatever you like kind of so click on next um choose what kind of field you want like for example i want to study computer science computer science okay fine yeah that's it i don't know what's it but uh, it's yeah school of computer science software engineering english dot program works for me okay so um starting from this uh, information family name chinese name martial status given this i recently yesterday yeah like uh, i completed an application form for another university which was kind of some other university i don't know i don't remember the name of that university if you go to my channel you will find yeah this is shanzi normal university yeah this was the university and they both have almost the same application form as you can see this is the shanzi's form and this is the wuhan's form so they both are almost the same so it will make things easier for me if i explain it uh, this form from this page because i have also read this uh, page yeah this form it's so it's per it's hundred percent same just a copy i don't know i believe they are using the same server or something like that different universities same application forms and you know you can also see like same kind of displays so basic information that's easy family name chinese name martial status given name native language pakistan uh, nationality religion or communication employer or institution affiliated health status hobby if we talk about study plan study plan hsk level level of hsk none you 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 are so like obviously i, I know like most of us we don't know we don't even know a of china a of chinese language so depends on you what kind of language you have poor fair good excellent whatever i do that enter your details select the programs you have chose enter the advisor name if you have any for masters they don't require to advisor for phd they does so that's it so after doing that you have to enter the information about your education and employment you have to upload your documents one by one which are the list of the documents right here and after doing that you have to enter some details about your additional information contact information application form preview and you are almost done with that there is no application fees your application is completed and you just need to click submit so two parts of our applications are completed we have submitted the form on csc portal we have submitted the form on the university's portal so that's it your application is almost completed but you need to upload the required documents which may which might be um, the list you have to check the list of uh, required documents which are the list like which are uh, yeah these are the required documents we have done with application form one application form two notarized copies of diploma degrees this is what you have to do on your own study plan you have to write a great study plan depending on what language you're applying to uh, i mean uh, like which course you're applying to how it relates to you what kind of plan you have in the future two recommendation from either professors or associate professors scan copy of valid ordinary passport photocopy of original examination form which i told you from where you can download it how 
we can fill that well it just hsk certificate if you're applying to a chinese dot program acceptance letter from the professor of wuhan university if available so it's not mandatory so that's it guys and if you guys like my video if you guys want me to continue the hard work kindly please please do comment let me know that you are liking my work you want me to do this you want me to continue that would really help me up that will really boost my intentions to helping and continuing this thing very much crazier on the level right now i'm doing so thank you so much for watching guys have a good day best of luck and please subscribe 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 I love this.